Some 20 years after Coxeter, Miller and Longett Higgins list of 75 uniform polyhedra was published, in 1975, John Skilling of Cambridge University developed a computer-assisted method of systematically generating all the uniform polyhedra. His programmes found 76 of them. The extra one is this controversial shape, which he called the Great Dysnub Dirombidodecahedron, but is now more commonly referred to as simply Skilling's figure. This video will explore this shape and explain why it's not usually considered as a 76th uniform polyhedron. Skinning's figure has 204 faces, 240 edges and 60 vertices. 12 faces surround each vertex. It's very closely related to the great Dirombacossi dodecahedron, the Miller's monster that concluded part 4. It has the same vertices and edges, the same squares, all of which pass through the centre and come in coplanar pairs, and the same pentagrams. Only the triangles are different. Skilling's triangles are like snub triangles, but with both left and right handed ones included. It's mirror symmetric, but half of the pentagrams are retrograde. If these are coloured differently, a chiral, non-mirror symmetric figure is obtained. However, there is a problem with this figure. A conventional polyhedron has two faces meeting at each edge, but Skilling's figure has some edges where four faces meet. Let's look at the faces around a single vertex to see what's going on. There are 12 faces surrounding this vertex, two green pentagrams, six purple triangles, and four red squares. The squares are mostly hidden from view, but can be seen if we view the vertex from the inside. From this angle, we can see that this edge borders on four faces, a green pentagram, a red square, and two purple triangles. Similarly, this edge also borders on four faces. In fact, there are two more double edges, so although 12 faces border the vertex, only eight edges separate them. Overall, 120 edges are double edges, highlighted in white. If you count these as two edges each, Skinning's figure has 360 edges. So are edges with four faces allowed or not? The faces of a polyhedron can be seen as a single surface covering all the faces. The problem with double edges is that this surface is ill-defined. Imagine travelling across a face and arriving at a double edge. Which of the three adjoining faces should you continue along? Which face joins to which? It's impossible to say. That's why most people disallow double edges. But ultimately, the decision as to whether Skilling's figure is valid rests on the definition of a polyhedron, and unfortunately there is no universally accepted definition, so it really is up to you to decide whether you accept it or not. And what of Coxeter and his colleagues? Conveniently, the very first line of the 1954 paper concisely defines a polyhedron, saying that precisely two faces meet at each edge. So by their definition, Skilling's figure is clearly invalid, and Coxeter, Miller and Longit Higgins did indeed find all uniform polyhedra. But in spite of this, or more likely because of this, Skilling's figure remains a notoriously fascinating object. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.